Please hang up and try again. What's up, everyone? Louis Tran here with my uh, review on the Nexus 6P. I know this is uh, better late than never. I know the Nexus has been out for, you know, at least four months already. I think it came out in October. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I finally got around to reviewing this uh, smartphone from Google. And, uh, well, right now in my hands is actually an iPhone 6S. So why do I have this in my hands? It's because the uh, Nexus right now, it's recording me. So if I look awesome, then the camera's awesome. If I don't look good, then, well, the camera sucks. So uh, anyway, let's get right into the review. Before we begin, let's unbox this real quick. All right, here's everything else underneath. Um, okay, USB-C fast charger, a uh, USB-C cable. It's pretty long. Okay, and then let's uh, lift up the phone and right under that you get free uh, 90 days of Google Play Music which is nice and a short uh, USB-C to USB-A uh, charger alright two cables really generous thank you Google one quick note guys if you haven't noticed I'm recording this video on an iPhone 6s uh, in my office at work so please excuse the uh, video quality Right out of the box, this thing looks solid. In picking it up, it feels solid all around thanks to the aluminum build. On the back, we have the fingerprint scanner, which seems oddly placed, but it's actually the smartest place to put it, which I'll explain later on. All right, well, let's take a physical tour of this thing. The Nexus 6P is 159.3 by 77.8 by 7.3, weighs 178 grams, and uh, you flip it around, you see the USB-C uh, connector with fast charging. And over here on the side, you have the power and the volume rocker. And over here, you have the uh, standard 3.5 headphone port. Again, a solidly built device overall. All right, enough of how this thing looks. The most important part is using it. Okay, so on the back, we have the fingerprint scanner. I thought it was oddly placed at first, but oh my God, it unlocks fast. Check it out. Boom, done. Navigating through the Nexus 6P and using apps is really smooth and snappy for the most part, thanks to the Snapdragon 810 CPU. Yes, I know the Samsungs have the 820, but you get the pure Android Marshmallow experience without any carrier and OEM bloatware. I've had the Galaxy S6 Edge before, which was great, but I got tired of TouchWiz. Still looking forward to the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge though, but that's a separate video that I gotta do. And since I'm using the Nexus 6 as my main driver, I have the Moto 360 second gen on my wrist. Uh, much better experience than the Apple Watch on the, the iPhone in my opinion, thanks to the snappiness of Marshmallow and Google Now on Android Wear. The Apple Watch, in my opinion, is just kind of slow overall and uh, Siri is a pain in the ass to use. But I'm going to save that discussion for the next video, so let's move on to the next thing. The Nexus 6P features uh, stereo front facing speakers and they sound fantastic. Easily blows away any iPhone, any Galaxy, and probably up there with HTC Boom sound speakers. Good job from Google and Huawei on this part. Okay, let's take a look at the 12 megapixel camera. You can immediately launch it by hitting the power button twice, uh, which is cool, like so. And one of my gripes, and one of my few gripes I have on this camera is that sometimes it takes a while to save the picture, uh, which hopefully will be fixed in a future firmware update. But other than that, I'm really pleased with the camera performance in almost any lighting situation, including low light. Please enjoy the rest of the camera samples.
Okay, so I've used this as my daily driver for a few weeks, uh, leaving my usual iPhone 6S in the drawer, and so far I've been really pleased with it. Um, what I like is the uh, pure Android experience. There, no carrier bloat, no OEM crapware. Works across all networks, including Verizon. It's got uh, pretty fast overall performance. Excellent build quali quality and unique design. That fast charging is nice to have. It's got a beautiful display. Fingerprint scanner works really fast. The camera is fantastic. Uh, the stereo front facing speakers, they sound great. And smart lock is always a blessing. Uh, some of the things that it needs work on. Um, Android, still a little glitchy, still needs uh, some polish lags uh, on occasion and uh, and I got a reboot like every few days um, the fingerprint scanner needs more app support definitely uh, optical image stable OIS sorry would have been nice for the camera especially for video um, battery life is decent but it's uh, somewhat inconsistent uh, some days when I unplug the phone at 7 it'll go all the way till 8 p.m. with 50% left with a medium to heavy usage going through emails, conference calls, social media, etc. Uh, I'll get like about three and a half on screen time. Um, other days, I unplug it at seven, doing the same thing, and the phone's almost dead at two o'clock. Um, you know, it's, it's also not uh, too terrible, uh, but not too impressive for a phone of this size. I get more consistent uh, battery performance out of the iPhone 6S Plus. But uh, other than that, you know, like I said, I really recommend this phone to anybody uh, wanting to try out Android or in general. So there you have it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, if you liked the video, please hit the like button somewhere right there. I think right there, right here. And then if you really liked the video, please uh, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.